Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I have been getting so many comments about my hair so I thought I would do a video and show you what I deal with twice a week and this is what it's naturally like. So it is really thick, it, I've got naturally curly hair which I brush it when it's wet so it kind of goes like a wave um, but stays really curly underneath. But I'm going to show you step by step how I get from my big bush of hair to that style that everybody seems to be commenting on lately so first of all I start with a brush and just give it a brush through I always do it really gently because I don't want to damage my hair I am trying so hard to grow it out hence why I've not dyed away any of the green khaki ends at the moment because I want my hair to be in the best condition it can be before I put on yet another brown or black hair dye I will say that I don't use a hairdryer anymore. I've avoided that like the absolute plague because I just don't want to have any more heat on my hair than is necessary. So I tend to have a shower before I go to bed and I do go to bed with my hair somewhat wet. Um, and yeah, it just means I don't have to keep applying a hairdryer to my hair, which is one of the worst things I think you can do to your hair. I know hair straighteners are bad and things like this, but... A hairdryer just pumps so much heat onto your hair, opens up your hair, and it just I just don't like it. I'm not a hairdresser by any means, so I could be talking absolute rubbish, but here we are. I am currently using the L'Oreal Alvive heat defense spray, which I've had about three years. Uh, I just I've got too much to pay out for to be buying new, better, and more advanced hair heat defense sprays. I've got carpets to buy for my boys' bedrooms and I've got the car to fix so I'm just they're more important than spending out so you know every little bit that I can save I will save so I spray that on and just try to let it dry a little bit because even when your hair's dry and you put a heat defense spray on it does tend to leave a wet residue on your hair so hair straighteners I'm just turning on and I do have them on 200 so I'm having them on while I'm going to start prepping my hair into sections so you can see the green there there's also a tinge of purple because i was bright purple before this color um but what i do is i section my hair into like three i think it is i think i do three sections because my hair's really really thick but i'm showing you step by step because it's 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 an easy hairstyle to do but at the same time it's quite confusing so what I do is I do like a horseshoe at the top of my head and I tie that up with a grip. I'm not going to be doing this section for a while so I need the grippy one, the clip, for the middle section. So then I get the middle section with this and I will section that off. I hate saying the same word over and over again. Do you find it really irritating when you're watching something and you just keep hearing the same word? But then I'm going to say it again section it off there we go and then the final bit of hair that I've got hanging down is what I'm going to start to do my curls with and the way I do it is give it a brush and then I will get each piece of hair and have it go away from my face so a lot of people have said to me they don't know how to curl their hair with a straightener and it really baffles me because I think it's so easy you just put it on turn the hair straightener in another direction and pull. That is all you do. And it depends on how curly you want it as well as to how much you curl, how much you turn the hair straightener. And please bear in mind throughout this video that it doesn't matter if you've got some curls that are more curly than others. As long as you have a curl, that is all that matters. So again, until I get to the center at the back of my head, I will pull all the curls. I can't even get the hair straightener on. Look at me, I'm an absolute pleb. But yeah, I will curl it away from my face. And then once I get to the center of the head at the back, I will start turning it the other way so that it all falls to the back. Look how much root I've got. Can I just mention, I bleached my entire head right to my root. My roots were yellow at the end of Christmas, I think it was either the first few days of January or the last few days of December, and I bleached my entire head. And look how much root I've got. It's insane. I've got so many colours going on my head right now. So now I'm just going away from the other side of my face, and that is just so that I don't have it all hanging over the front of me. It's not going to keep falling forward, and it's it does give the look that it is that I'm 
going to achieve at the end of this video. So once the bottom section's done, it doesn't take long. And I've got a variation of different kind of curls going on here, but it doesn't matter because it always, always comes out the same way. I've got cramp in my foot, so I'm just adjusting myself. Then I'm going on to the middle section of my hair and this bit I do the exact same way. So this is just the same process as what I've just done, but I will do it, yeah, with a lot more hair. And I will part it because I need, obviously, I need, I need to see what I'm doing. And there's a bit of a lion's mane going on here. But I'm going to do the same thing again, but I can start from the back and just curl it away from my face. So what I wanted to ask, because I've been spending my evenings watching Trigger Point. I started watching the first episode of series two. I don't know if anybody's watching it, but if you are, goodness me, let me know what you think. I started watching that and I was like, blimmin' out. I, I actually prefer it to the first one. And I flipping love the first one that like they really upped it on this one. Look at all these variations of curls going on. So I'm going to do the other half of my hair now. And then it gets quite tricky. After I've done this bit is where it gets a bit more fiddly. But I'm starting from the back yet again. And I'm just turning it away from my face, pulling the hair straightener away and producing a curl. I find there is less heat on your head from a hair straightener when you curl it than it is if you straighten it. Because when I straighten my hair, it takes me so much longer. And I don't really like my hair straight anymore. I do prefer it to have a curl, a wave, and I like to have volume. It also hides a multitude of sins. So like different colours going on or if your hair's looking a little bit dry that day. I've got naturally frizzy, dry hair, so I'm never going to have silky, glossy, healthy looking hair. It's always going to be frizzy, but I make the most of it. Now I'm moving on to the top section of my head. And this is where I do things slightly different. And I'm going to show you an example in just a second. Is that I will take a wide section of my hair and I will start to curl it by just turning the hair straighteners over and pulling the hair but with the first section I just pull it naturally just pull it down and it doesn't give that volume as what happens when you actually pull the hair up from the head so I'm doing this to show you the difference at the moment I'm just curling my hair down as if I'm just curling my hair but what I really want is some volume so I'm going to speed it up in just a sec and show you the difference at the end as to what happens when you start curling your hair from dragging the hair straightener up and over rather than down and over. What a difference. Can you see? Can you see the volume on this side? If you can hear a funny noise, my dog is snoring next to me. But that side's flat, that side's got volume, and that is exactly what I'm looking for. So I always pull, when I get to the crown, I always pull up and over so that it gives me that nice full volumed look that I really, really want. Because I don't want my head to be flat at the top and then have curls at the bottom. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again now, and then we're going to move on to the more complicated section, which is the front. I feel like when I go quiet, I feel like I need to say something, but I don't know what to say. I am hoping my hair grows quite quickly because I want my hair to be longer by the time it gets to May because May is a have, I have a special trip coming up in May. Look at that volume. Oh, I'm feeling so proud of myself. Loving that. Oh, arms are hurting. Washed my hair in head and shoulders last night. And yeah, it does look really, really nice with head and shoulders, but I can't use it when I dye my hair because it just rips out all the colour. Now we're going on to the side panels. Side panels. Here we go. And with these ones, I do something slightly different. So when I do the sides of my hair, section them as you normally would. It's that lovely word again. And then you pull away from your head sideways. And again, make sure you turn the hair straightener so it is turning away from your face. So clamp it on, turn the hair straightener over and then pull out away from your head sideways. And it works every time. 
But back to what I was saying, I'm going up to Hartford, I'm taking some of my boys and we're going to have a little adventure, but it's going to be a very special trip and I will share it with you, but I won't share... I won't share too much detail now because I'm really, really excited and I don't want anything to... Usually when I get excited about something, something will happen. So I try not to go into it too much. But if you've watched my channel for a long time, you probably know what it's all about. But I really want my hair longer by then because I just do. I'm just growing it and I want to know what it's like to have longer hair again. I did shave my hair a long time ago, a few years back. I shaved all my hair off. And yeah, I found it not impossible to style it, but now it's longer, it's, it's so much easier because if it's just getting on my nerves, I just tie it back. But I really like doing this hairstyle and it does last me a long, long time. So it can last me a good three to four days. This is the end of this part. I've got various curls going on all over the place. And yes, it's very bouncy, but you wouldn't want to go out like that. And I've missed a spot. Well, I haven't missed a spot. It hasn't curled as much as I needed it to. So I'm just going to quickly go back over that. Yes, it's just dawned on me. I'm absolutely starving, Marvin. I have recorded this video and now I'm doing the voiceover and I'm really, really hungry. I'm trying to think of what it is I actually want to eat. Yeah, random thoughts that go through my head and I don't have to talk some rubbish. But we're going on to the tricky section now. So... Let me get my left and rights correct because I'm watching myself at a... Yep, so it's my right side. So I'm bringing all my hair over to my right side or is it my left? It's my left side. So I'm bringing all my hair to my left side. So what I do with this part is I start to bring the hair towards the left as I curl. So all of this part now from the middle is all going towards the left side and that is because I want my hair to flow that way because that's the style that I'm going for so the curl will be pulled to that side of my head. Obviously you can go left or right depends on which way you like your hair which suits your face. With me it suits my face to be on this side and it also I find myself naturally pushing my hair to that side of my head so that's why I go for the left side. When you do do this, it gives you so much more volume to your head. I'm not one who uses hairspray. I hate hairspray. I can use hairspray on wigs um, all day long, synthetic or human, but I will not, unless I'm absolutely pushed, use any hairspray on my own hair because I feel like it blocks natural oils from getting through to your hair. I feel like you have to wash your hair that evening after using it mm -hmm. and it just feels horrible on my head. I just don't like it. So I've never really been one to use hairspray. I don't do any back brushing or anything like that because I think it's, I just think it's a really bad way to treat your hair. So I don't do it. But with the front section, I'm going to continue doing the same thing with these sections. But I have got layers here where I stupidly cut myself a fringe because I didn't like the fact that my forehead had lines because I can't afford to do Botox right now. And I don't really want to go and do it just yet anyway. There's so much more important things out there than worrying about whether I've got some movement on my forehead. But I cut myself a fringe and then it's like I've spent the entire winter underneath a woolly hat. I really did not need to cut myself a fringe at all. But it does come in handy with this hairstyle to be fair. So I'm doing the same thing again, bringing it all to the left side of my head. And it's getting quite thick on this side as you can see, but it does work out in the end. I'm just going to hold that back because it's getting in the way. And this is where it gets fiddly because of the fringe. Fringe? Fringe. So this bit, I do the same thing, but I just curl it as much as it will curl because my fringe doesn't seem to curl very well. So I'm just going to try and get a big spring as much as I can so that I can use that to hold the style that I want up and also hold my hair to its side. So here we go again another bit try and smooth it out and get it all on there even and it will actually help with the style in the end but i won't be cutting myself a fringe anytime soon there we go nice bit of lift going on there that is exactly what we're looking for because at the end when we do that brush over it's going to really give you that nice volumized look at the front as well as the rest of the head I'm uh, watching myself I'm like 
how long have you got that straightener on your head like your hair's gonna fall off but it's not actually that long my hair is super tough i am not joking it goes through the walls i put it through war and it just somehow it's still on my head and i just don't know why so once i finally finished relief i then run my fingers through my hair just going through all those curls the variations of curls that i've got going on and dragging my hair to the left side because that's where i want my flip over to be so once i've done that don't pick your nose gabby you are in front of a camera i get the brush out and this is the most satisfying part seeing it all come together oh look look at that oh it looks gorgeous if i do say so myself i'm not keen on the purple and the, and the green tinges i've got going on there but i do love that look I'm so happy with it. Honestly, I love this style. I love it. As I said, I do it like once or twice a week. And it's the only hairstyle I seem to do. I don't want to put my hair up anymore. I'm happy when I go out. I feel chuffed with how I've done my hair. I've had so many people compliment it as well and say, you look like you've just had your hair done at the hairdresser. You said it blow dried. And I'm like, no, it's like three days old. This hairstyle holds. I'm not joking. So once I've done it a brush through, run my fingers through it and have a little play around how I want it. It doesn't matter what I do with it. It will hold and I don't need any hairspray. So here we have the finished. But I'm going to show you all the way around. And this bit's quite funny because I'm just like, yep, look at this. Look at that bounce. Look at those curls. Loving that wave. And then I realise I'm not even in camera in the minute. It's just like... Gabby, sort yourself out. Sort it out. And the back, got some nice bounce going on there at the back. Oh, I love it. It's like such 50s vibes. I cannot wait to colour this into a colour that I really, really like and do this hairstyle. I'm so excited. I finally found a style that just works for me. Here we are. I'm like, look at this. Look, this is what it looks on this side. Oh, not in camera. <laughs> I couldn't take that out because I just found that so funny. I thought, I'm not editing this, literally. So funny. But there we go. That is how I do it. And it doesn't matter what you do, it will always fall back into place. It's got nice bounce to it. It's got nice volume. And yeah, it's bringing that nice 50s look, which I absolutely adore. But there we go. Little flip over for you. And ooh, still stays in place. Honestly, I ramble, but I'm super happy. This is how I do it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.